Do you, at a glance, understand what this React hook does? Well, it took me some time as well, and that's because this hook is based on React execution order. So let's try to understand it. And to understand this, we first of all need to find out when your code runs. So I've prepared a few console logs, one inside the function body, one inside the use memo, then two use effects, and another one in the function body at the bottom. Do you know in which order these will execute? So as you can see, we first run the function body, then we run the use memo to get our double value from our count, then we run the end of the function body to render stuff now, and after we're done rendering, we will run the use effects. In this case, we run them twice because they run once initially and then once more. And then we can also see that these things are grayed out. And that's just the case because React strict mode is enabled, which runs your React logic twice anyway. If we now click this button to increase our state, we can see the component re-renders. We run the function body, we run the memo, we run the function body again. And then after rendering is done, the effects will take place again. So your use effect will not run until rendering was done successfully which is really important for an example. So if you just take another look at it, then all of this will make lots of sense actually. So we of course need to run the function body when we re-render, so this console log makes sense. Then to be able to actually render our state, we will of course need to be able to know what our double value is. So for rendering, this will be required. So it needs to be calculated before we render. The use effects can do something like manipulate DOM elements and react to refs and all that stuff. So they need to run after the render took place because they will interact with the element that was rendered, at least most of the time. Sometimes you will of course do stuff like fetching and stuff, but yeah. If you want to do something like DOM manipulation, then your use effect will of course need to run after rendering. Then we of course skip the use effects, so now we console.log our function body right here, and do the rendering, and now that we're done with the rendering, we can of course run the use effects. And if we now just take another look at our hook, we can see, okay, it prepares a ref, it gets a value as props, and then it just sets our ref to this value and returns the current value of our ref. So what this seems like if we don't understand React execution order is that it just turns a value into a ref. But now that we understand it, we understand that, okay, we first of all declare this ref and then we instantly return it. So on the first render, it will be undefined. Then when we're done rendering, we set the ref, but we don't return again because a re-render of the main function body will only happen if state changes happen. And refs don't cause state changes and don't cause re-renders. So only if our props change will this function run again, the ref will be returned, which now has the previous value. And after we've returned this previous value, only then will we update this hook. So basically we run through here, return undefined. We change the value. Now we've got the initial value in this return value. And our ref will now have the new value. Then our value changes again. We again return the previous value and set the ref to the current value. Which is why this hook is called use previous. I hope you understand it. If not, then maybe just listen to this another time. It really makes sense once you understand execution order. Trust me. And now that we understand the execution order, we might also find some sense in this kind of use effect which is the use effect without a dependency array. What you will be told about them most of the time is that they run on every render. And that is true, but if you just trust this explanation, they should run between these two console logs, which of course don't. So what a use effect without a dependency actually does is that it runs after every render. So what we'll see in the console here is these dashes, function body one, function body two, then re-render, and then after all of this, rerun this use effect. So if you want to run something after every render, then just do this. And now you could probably write a hook like this by just thinking about it enough all by yourself. But you might not want to because you might introduce bugs. So how about you check out this video where I'll show you React Use, which is an awesome library that gives you some custom hooks like this one right out of the bat so that you don't have to write them. Have a good day.